You think say it's Sabi Nigeria music? Old school or new school? Come show yourself for Gusto gets the song. You go win better, better. Call the number where they appear for your screen. So, Nigeria music, come win money. Hey guys, welcome to Gusto Reactions once again. Thank you so much for always liking and sharing, subscribing, doing everything that you can to support the movement. We love and appreciate every one of you. Yes, uh, today on Gusto Reaction, we've got uh, Nara Mali in the building. Um, Big Lala is also very much in the building. Where's Nara Mali? Nara Mali is the one we're talking about today. Oh, he's in the building now. He's in the building. He's on the plate today. <laughs> this is the plate. He's on the plate today. And of course, um, Lala, the last time we came here, you talked about uh, you not liking the latest single drop test. Mm -hmm. um, has your mind you know, um, changed since then. Yes, Still don't like the song? Yeah, I don't think I've replaced the last of that thing that we actually did. Don't you think you need to replay it for you to think, okay, maybe I'll just like the song? Um, you no, know, sometimes when you hear a song for the first time, mm -hmm. you, you can tell that, oh, you really need to hear this. Mm. It's a song that you really, really don't want to even like, or you don't want to give a chance to mm -hmm. make sure that anytime it's, you don't get mm -hmm. the song. Is normally losing relevance on the streets? No, I don't think so. That's where his core fan base is. And um, yeah, I think he's still equally as big as anybody else who would be able to launch out from the streets. Mm. He's still got a core fan base there. Talking about the street artist, you know, uh, we know about the fact that Slatan is also, you know, very much there. He's just released a new single, Albaika featuring Buju. Mm -hmm. But Olamide is one artist who's, uh, you know, metamorphosed from the street right now. Um, trying to get into the international audience, performing at the Grammys, you know, nominations, party, you know, and of course, appearing on a couple of shows, audio mark shows, and it, you know, all of those yeah, things. I think it's a Grammy, it's a Grammy party, brunch. I think it's a Grammy brunch party or something from Empire. Yeah, yeah, from Empire. Um, and, you know, the international appeal for Lamide's album, Everything is getting billboards, in, you know, maybe in a, in, a, in New York. <clears throat> well, 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 maybe because of Empire Deal as well, you know. Now, Olamide getting all of these things from the streets. We asked the other time if he had left the streets, you know, because of this international appeal. Naramali is someone who is still very much, you know, within the you know reach of the streets, his yeah. core fan base and everything. Mm -hmm. Do you think there should be a switch um, for Naramali just like Olamide? Well, I don't particularly see the need for it because um, the <coughs> kind of um, artist that Naramali is mm. before and um, now, before he was a UK rapper, right? Mm. He rap UK. He infused a bit of your band in his rap then. Mm. Before he decided, um, he needed to make a dance back home. And mm. what other way would you do that by switching styles? Mm. And something that people in the whole country would, would uh, mess with a lot. His first time, not like even the first time, the first time he really got accolades back home in Nigeria was when he did his ago. Mm. And his ago is a popular term in Nigeria. So mm. he wanted to target the Nigerian market, and that's why he had to switch his style and sound. Uh, mm. Back then, Naramali wouldn't dare do a song that's 100% new bow or anything mm. like that. Mm. But these days, I mean, not even these days, since he made that switch in Nigeria, you see songs that are dominated, your bad language dominated. He knows what the target market is and he's playing to that audience. Mm. So, asking him now to now switch to do something more than that, I don't think he knows anything other than being the rugged guy, the street guy that he's doing right now, but mm. he's decided to do it for the home front. Mm. And someone like that wants to now do something like that for the event. I don't see how he's going to play out for What if, uh, you know, he signs with an international label and then he decides to change the sound and, uh, you know, would you say he has stopped being original? Well, it's two things. They first need to look at him and see him as a viable option that can sell worldwide that can sell in, in in a different kind of market. Mm. Right now this kind of music he makes as apart from it's a go per se, oh well let me not say apart from Zigo because a, a couple of his records have gone a bit viral in mm -hmm. other countries. Yeah. People are even remixing the songs. So P and the rest of that. Yeah. So yes, if they see him as commercially viable mm. that they can work with. Um I don't particularly think they would need him to really change his sound per se. Mm. Or like what I mean what Olamide has just done right now, mm. whether we like it or not, is a risk. He's paying out right because the first album mm. was successful. Capadium, yeah. Was successful because FOMO was right. Yeah. 
let's, let's, let's get out there. This particular um, album. album that he dropped recently, mm. can we say it's successful? We don't know yet, but it looks like people love it, right? Yeah. People outside of Nigeria, are they really messing up? Like they mess with Carpe Diem. Is there really a standard track apart from rock mm. on that album? We really have to several other songs. Like yeah, Carpe Diem. For someone like Naamali, he would be required to change the sound. The same thing that Alam did, did. the video did it, mm. it flopped. And he decided, nah, I'm not doing this anymore. Mm-hmm. He decided to do his thing in the home front. His own way, yeah. He did his own way, and he still got the international acclaim his own way. So, there are several ways to do it, but I don't think Naomi is capable to change the sound. He's too en- engrossed in his style right now. Mm. And one of, that's one of the most tiring things about Naomi of late, because he has that one style of mm. living on his own. Yeah, but you were the one who said, you know, who talked about the fact that he had a sound before in the UK. Yeah. You know, and then you know, having to change in a money that changed the sound, you know, back then from the UK down to Nigeria, you don't think it's capable of changing back to uh, the sound. What the sound that you changed from? Mm. Right? How big was that sound in the UK? Was he regarded as top top tier rappers or top tier grime artists in the UK? But that showed his versatility. No, there's no versatility. All you all you did back then was he was rapping English. Now he didn't have any sort of style to it but he mm. changed his style when he came to nigeria he used to do his rap with yoba predominantly yoba mm-hmm. and then he infused a bit of english mm-hmm. and then at some point he was even singing yeah at one yeah. point yeah so he fine i agree that he changed that was it means he was versatile mm-hmm. but he knew what his target audience was which was lo- the local local person. scene yeah i don't think he sees himself as someone who i mean apart from guys who are africans mm. although you can argue that Sophie and these other songs they did they did the things. Mm-hmm. So if you wanted to chase international thing, it has to be for his style. Mm. That's what I think. I don't think he needs mm. to now go the Olamide way, which some will say is is forcing. Some will mm. say Olamide is forcing because he wants to get that international attention. Mm. But whatever he's going to achieve, being a local artist and doing his thing, Olamide has already done that. Don't yeah. forget that we, these other songs Everything, yeah. also went viral and yeah. went to several countries. Yeah. So Olamide yeah. just wanted to do something different. Mm. And for him to be considered that something different, mm-hmm. he wanted to change the style. Exactly. But normally want to do that. He's mm. don't forget that now his content is mostly X rated. Not, not too But not if an empire if an empire or Sony should come around, you know, around, you know, anytime soon for an uh, Mali and everything, would you say because you you know you think he should maintain the sound, he should reject those people? Well see, the thing is a lot of these artists sometimes make the mistake. But they they're supposed to learn from this video, right? Olamide is lucky because he changed it and it looks like it worked on mm. the first try. Looks right? like? Yeah, it looks like it worked on the first try. Did it work on the second try? All I see is it's still being forced. It's still being forced. Um the video did flops. So now imagine you now look at it like, okay, I'm already this people really, really want me. I mean the only reason they are coming to me right now is because of the way I sound right now. Mm. I think why they wanted to change my style if they are satisfied, if they think I can be that person mm. for how I sound. Right mm. now. I think a wise artist would not change his sound because of the record deal. I think he would stick to his craft and he would only change if he wants to change personally, <laughs> not because the uh it's a label, yeah. from the label that oh, well, you must appeal, you must sound a certain way and appeal to that was the mistake David made. Yeah, so mm. that's that's what I think is if he's gonna change it, it shouldn't be because oh it's a deal that requires him to do that it mm. be because he wants to do it wants to do it himself but do you think he should do it no, no. i have no opinion on it but i don't know <laughs> 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 to me and <laughs> anyways let's hear, let's hear your thoughts on that one naramali of course uh sound new sound international deal what exactly should you know naramali do should he follow the lamina route you know right then from you know, from the uk He's done quite a lot, you know, trying to focus on the local audience, which he, of course he has gained. What do you think, you know, he needs to change the sound to go international, to go, you know, maybe he wants to sign with a record label of international repute. Should he? Should he not? Put everything down below. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.